Hey, I'm Sun, I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. The title is clickbait, but it is true. When one calls people on Signal, one reveals our IP by default and by design, which kind of blew my mind when I noticed using Little Snitch. Uh, so that's another great example of how much one can see when we use an application layer firewall, but let's, let's see how that works. Um, so I have a phone here and I have a computer and I will be calling myself from this phone that has its own signal account to this computer which is using a separate signal account. Um, so I will start by recording the screen here and showing you how this looks like. And I'm gonna have to spoof or mask my phone numbers, but okay. So if I start a call from this computer and both devices are configured with defaults. Um, now what happens is Little Snitch reveals that Signal is trying to establish a connection to this IP. So I will allow it until quit. I will allow this one as well. And this IP address here, remember it, it's 89.36.78.233 allow. And I can pick up the call. Yo. Now I hang up. Um, what just happened there is Little Snitch revealed that Signal was trying to establish connections with tree IPs. And that last one, if I pop open Firefox here, one can see using, you know, what is my IP address, that that is one of those IPs. So the last IP address is essentially the IP of this device. That is quite fascinating. So why in the world would Signal leak our IP addresses? Well, it does that for a very simple reason, and that's why it's by design. It does that because it establishes a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the devices. And that is really good, actually. It's good because uh, A, it doesn't put as much stress on their infrastructure, and B, not all calls are routed through signal servers. So once the call is established and uh, IP addresses of participants are shared, the call can then, you know, uh, go about outside of signals infrastructure, which is, which is a good thing. Um, but it's only a good thing if one wishes to be private from the outside world. What if we have a call and we don't want to leak each other's IP address? Maybe we want to be private from each other. Maybe we're using some kind of a pseudonymous identity. That is really interesting as a use case. And it's actually a use case that I experience once in a while when I have a call with someone and I have a call using a, a phone number that isn't my real phone number, not the one linked to my carrier. There's an episode on how to set up signal accounts without using one's real phone uh, number. But essentially, I may not want to reveal you know, my IP address and where I am and stuff like this. So the way to mitigate this, thankfully, is using a feature that is kind of deep into the privacy settings of Signal. So I will start another screen recording on this here because I think the other one stopped. And on iOS, and I guess it's similar on Android, if one pops open the Signal app and then we go into the settings, we can then go into privacy and while we're there, those here, what you see, those are my uh, recommended defaults. So I essentially, uh, yeah, that's cool. So I essentially disable typing indicators, read receipts. I set default timer for new chats to five minutes uh, and all of this good stuff. But if you go into advanced, uh, you can actually enable always relay calls. And what that means is when one uses signal, all calls are relayed through Signal's servers. And what that means is when I try to establish a connection or make a call to this computer, that computer will no longer see the IP address. Now, you may have noticed that I am using a VPN on iOS, and that is one way of mitigating this, uh, meaning that when one uses a VPN with a kill switch, it is possible to mitigate this because Signal will see the IP of the VPN and not the IP of the ISP uh, or internet service provider. So that's one way of mitigating it. But the way I do it is on iOS, I don't trust my phone. I don't use a VPN on it for most of the use cases that I have. I always relay calls 
on iOS because if I'm connecting, uh, if I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I will be licking my IP. On desktop, on the other hand, if I have a VPN with a kill switch, in this case here, I'm using Malvad. And if I go into the settings and I go into advanced, I have always require VPN. That means that if ever the VPN connection is not established, I cannot connect to the internet, meaning I cannot leak my real IP. But if one does not have a VPN, it is also recommended to go into signal preferences and then go into calls and enable always relay calls. That said, again, it depends who one wishes to be private from. If we're having a call and we trust each other, it's actually better for our privacy to not have the call routed through Signal's infrastructure. But if we're having a conversation, say you're a whistleblower or you're another hacker, and I don't really trust you necessarily, but I wanna have a call over Signal because I want end-to-end -end encryption and I like the Signal protocol, well, then it is absolutely critical to enable always relay calls. Um, I hope that was insightful. I know it kind of blew my mind when I discovered this, uh, and yeah, I'll have much more content coming your way. So as always, this episode is made possible because of donations. This content is so very niche, it's completely impossible to monetize this outside of contributions such as yours. So thanks to everyone who has contributed to the Privacy Guides. And as always, smash that like button and share it with people that you know appreciate privacy. I'll see you soon. Bye.